I love you for that. Thank you very much, Shelley. So I pressed um, recording. So let me start from the beginning. Welcome everybody. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let me start by, uh, by introducing the first speaker. I'm gonna introduce all four speakers and then we're gonna uh, do the questions. The first speaker is, um, yeah, a PMD and Club 100. Um, he lives in Canada and uh, we've been back and forward over the last few days. He is actually from, from the UK, from Manchester. I think uh, John Holowati is from Manchester uh, as well, or Bolton, I think, was, is close, uh, close to Manchester. You can then later relate uh, and, and, and correct me, John. Um, he's been in the company since 1991, which is like, whoa, I thought I'm long with the company with 27 years, but Mark has been with the company for a longer time. He's a PMD and, uh, and a Club 100, and uh, he has already other NMDs in his organization. He's very successful in Canada, and I'm really, really honored to, to welcoming Mark here in the Zoom. Mark, say maybe say good afternoon or good morning to the group here. Good morning to everybody. Good afternoon to everybody and wherever you are. Awesome to be here. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Mark. The second speaker is, uh, and you can then correct me, John, is uh, John Holowati, a PMD Plus uh, here in EMEA, um, a person that actually started a, a new way of doing business uh, uh, many years ago when, uh, when he, he is a co-founder, I would say, of the Rhino movement. Um, he is a person that inspiring a lot of people, all the top leaders, I would say, that we have in EMEA now have been inspired by John and his movement. And uh, we do things a lot different in EMEA than, than many, many years ago before they uh, joined here. He is uh, he's a great speaker, a humble person, and uh, a great guy to, to be around with. And I'm so happy that he said yes when we invited him. Welcome to the club here, John Holowati. Hey, thank you so much. I mean, there's not really anything else we can do at the moment. So if you <laughs> you can't really say I can't get on a Zoom call because we cannot do anything. So we are back in lockdown in the UK now. So anyway, yeah. I hope everybody's safe and healthy and well. And uh, thank you for having me on the call. And uh, thank the Lord that we have Juice Plus in our lives. We are very, very blessed, very lucky. So uh, thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the next speaker is from the US. Uh, Shelly Mackey, uh, a PMD Plus Club 100. We all have Club 100s. We got the big guys here, the people that know exactly what it means and what it takes uh, to, uh, to work those clubs. Um, she's, uh, yeah, she's all about inspiring healthy living around the world. Uh, since 2013, uh, she is, uh, she's been with us. She really, from one, uh, from one year to the other, I've, I read in there that you went from, uh, from NMD and then to Club 75, Club 100. You are an amazing leader uh, and I have heard a lot of great things about you. And I'm so, so happy uh, that you are joining us in this uh, wonderful little Zoom call with over Almost 1,000 people. We're 1,000 people, Shelly. Welcome. I know. Thank you so much. I keep admitting them, and I keep thinking, my gosh, we're not going to be able to talk because we keep admitting people. This is fantastic, and I'm beyond blessed and honored. I have watched Mark and Linda and John uh, from afar. I have never got to meet Linda, you, or John, and I am excited to hear what you all have to say, learn from each of you, but I am I'm greatly honored that you that you brought me in today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shelley. And last but not least, uh, our early bird, I would say. Um, you can then say what time it is in Australia, Linda. Uh, Linda Evenden from uh, from Australia, PMD Plus Club 100. Yeah, um, as Shelley, uh, um, a mother of three, and Shelley, you're I think you're a mother of four. Um, so that is a, a woman's power there as well. Um, she is, uh, I, I checked some of the videos out, a very inspirational uh, leader. She is a, a network marketing professional, I would say. And uh, I'm so honored that this person said yes right away when we said, you know what, we want to do an international Zoom. We want to get close together. We want to talk about the importance of club. And I'm so happy that Linda said, of course, yes, it's early in the morning, but yes, I'm here. So welcome, Linda. Thank you for having me. I love how global we are. We need some accents on here. We need some accents on. What time is it, Linda, there? It's not too bad now. It's 6.13. 6.13. Oh, 
6.13. That is anyway a good time to get up and, and work on your business. Everybody that is not up at 6.13 in their business, you will never become a PMD plus <laughs> or a PMD. Anyway, so this was my little introduction and uh, you have heard already too much from me because it's not about me. I'm just uh, trying to coordinate this and, and giving the voice really to our top leadership from around the globe. So let me ask uh, the first question to Mark. Uh, Mark, um, why is it so important to work on the qualified business? And what does it say? What does it say in your business? Qualified business, what does it mean, Mark? Well, absolutely. And thanks for having me on board. And before I answer that question, I think this highlights why it's important to have a qualified business. Um, I look at the guys, those of you with me, Shelley, We've had some amazing adventures around the world from the Rocky Mountains in Banff to various conferences. And we've had such a blast and that's part of the adventure that this business has brought. John, I know that we've done all kinds of crazy things from Barcelona um, to your home up near Bolton to um, various areas in California. And of course, in our own hometown, floating around on the lake in the boat and all those kind of things. And then Linda, I can't believe it just seems like it's only a few months ago in February where we had that adventure of flying on the helicopter over your beautiful home in Australia. Oh. And both me and Yvonne, you know, our life is about adventure and you guys have played a major part of that adventure and can't wait to see you all again live. So on behalf of myself and Yvonne, uh, you've been our inspiration and it all comes down to being a qualified business. Why is it important? Well, that adventure alone shows how it's important. But to quickly answer the question, why is it important and, and what does it have to say is, you know, it, it's important to realize that in the early days when I started the business, the first five years in the business, I was a sales coordinator for five years in and out of having a qualified business. Some months I did, some months I didn't, um, you know, and how many people would give up on someone perhaps who was in that situation. But the moment a decision was made about five years in everything changed, just made that decision that we were going to do something. And that led to the subsequent success. Both myself and Yvonne, my wife, independently have been qualified businesses each for almost 300 months. That's 25 wow. years. We've never missed a month each. So just the two of us in the family, we're doing it twice, have never missed a month of being a qualified business. And I believe firmly that a qualified business is the building block or the bricks in building a team, just like you would with any structure or building. And you keep adding those blocks. It never needs to end and hence the unlimited potential. The more building blocks that you have or the more qualifiers you have, the more secure and stable your business becomes. You know, it's often been said and we've often heard that you know, your paycheck is a direct reflection of the number of families and people that you've helped you know, with their health and wellness. Well, I would suggest that the number of qualifiers or the number of qualified businesses that you have in your team is a reflection of the number of people that you've helped with a part-time profit center or a secondary income source, whatever you want to call it, which in this day and age is so massively, massively important. Maintaining a qualified business with paying customers, both yourself and your immediate teammates, and, and having a full excess, which is like your piggy bank or your overdraft facility, and as you grow your business, you'll know what we mean by this. But having that qualified business paid for, not with structure, but paid for, gives you security and a certain amount of time freedom to continue to grow your business. And of course, you're leading by example. Having that qualified business also maintains a pool of customers who may eventually convert over to becoming a partner with you in your team. Or they might just be somebody that leads to extending referrals and leads and that kind of thing. But perhaps most importantly, being a qualified business um, is a financial benefit in that it unlocks that tiny little uh, performance bonus percentage, which I believe is 3% around the world now. And although money isn't everything, you know, it really helps. You can only function if you have the money to be able to help others. But that little 3%, although it seems, you know, not important in the early days, absolutely is the most significant part and the largest part of your income in the future as you move forward. So having that qualified business in your own right and maintaining it is absolutely crucial in my opinion. Thank you very much, very much to the point. I think that everybody was able to make uh, a, a few notes here and I hope, really hope that everybody has a, a pen and, and a piece of paper here 
to really uh, write down all these gold nuggets. And uh, what I uh, heard very much is, of course, the, 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 the fundament and the, the, the building blocks. I think that is a, a good uh, analogy for saying, OK, in order to build this, you need to have the right building blocks. It's, it's all about stability. It's how many people you help. I like that also very much. Sharing is caring. How many people you have helped? How many PB qualifiers you have? So many families are you helping? I think that is a, a great way of explaining it. Thank you very much for that answer, uh, Mark. Um, the next question I have is for um, Shelly. Shelly, I mean, um, we talked about the qualified business, Mark said it. Um, now, um, of course, uh, club. Um, I know the co-op qualification is different uh, depending on uh, where, you, where you get up in the morning, either it's, it's Canada, EMEA, or, or maybe Australia, but still, when are you focusing on it? When do you need to focus on it? Is it in the beginning? Is it like uh, if you start as a partner or a partner plus? What is your, um, um, your view on that? Okay, well, in the United States, and I think this is all, all around the world now. We're not so united, by the way, right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that, woo! Okay, but anyway, once you receive, uh, you know, you achieve the position of QSC, Qualifying Sales Coordinator and above, uh, in, in the US, we need 1800 performance bonus volume points, okay? But that includes my own orders, so your own orders. It includes your customer's orders, it includes your partner's orders and your partner plus orders. Okay, so all that gets to come together to count to qualify that business. And I think Mark already answered beautifully the purpose of qualifying your business. It is absolutely the absolute, it's just like Juice Plus is the foundation of our health. Qualifying your business is the foundation of a successful business. Right. And one thing that um, I do, and I'm kind of answering uh, a little bit of more than I was intending to on this particular Please. question, but the belief in the product to me has to be, it's crucial. If you do not believe in the product that is backed by science and you don't believe there's three gifts, because that's what I do. I, I teach my team right up front about the mindset of three gifts, because a lot of times people, I know that it was stopping me from sharing Juice Plus, even though I loved it. I didn't want to share it because I didn't want to be a salesperson. I didn't mm -hmm. want to be known as one. And so I think one thing that changed it for me was I changed the mindset to gifting. I was gifting people with an incredible product backed by science, uh, education and support from a community. Now it's global community. It's mind boggling to me what we're doing today paying for your own product by simply helping others. That is the stopper for me right there. If you don't believe that you're gifting people, whether it's with the product or the community or paying for their own product, then you're going to feel like you're selling people rather than it's a mindset shift. And I think that that's where I think that that begins for me, the journey right off the bat that I wanna teach people that we are in the business to inspire healthy living and others. And we do that by not just selling them, taking an order, stuffing it in the computer and going away, but that we are literally going to transform their lives and bring them into our community. So I hope that answers your question. Absolutely. And it more than answers my question, actually. And um, we are all transformers. I, I, I like that. My son would love that, uh, that I say that we're all transformers. Um, gifting, sharing. I, I mean, yes, nobody wants to be a sales. Well, there's people that want to be salespeople, but I mean, not a lot of people are salespeople. And then just a whole different mindset. And I'm sharing a gift with you. I got something for you. This is inspiring healthy living. This is a mission that I'm sharing. I, I feel that very much, Shelly. And that is actually, no matter where we are, we are all sharing the same mission. And we are on a mission. And this mission is inspiring healthy living. And uh, what you said, it's the foundation, of course, the product backed by science. And then, of course, the club and the PB and the qualified business. That is the foundation of a healthy growing business. Wonderful, Shelly. Thank you very much. The next question is uh, for uh, Linda. And uh, Linda, my question for you is, um, 
yeah, can you talk a little bit more about the clubs in general, right? What clubs they are and what you want to say about share about the clubs and how important it is, so we said that already, for a sustainable and long-term business, a business where in the next 10 years you want to look back and say, yeah, I built something great here. And it's not only for the next three months or for the next two years. Yes. In fact, I have my favorite prop. When I talk about qualifying, I get on my <laughs> show me the money glasses because I, I just want truth talk here. I was like right. Mark and similar story to John, just like kind of frustrated and struggling away up the, up the mountain to NMD for five years. And I, I could have quit, I tell you. But I remember a critical moment when I understood the money and the marketing plan. Before that, it was all gobbledygook. It was acronyms and all this stuff that didn't make sense. And, I, you know, Linda used to call me from head office and say, you just have to find another customer and another team and then you'll get this. And, and it was like a foreign language. And then one day it hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh my God, like, show me the money. This is where it is. And the, this is why I love qualifying. There's so many things I love about qualifying, but it doesn't, first of all, it doesn't sound sexy. So I love that we're saying in the club because that is a lot sexier, right? Mm -hmm. And it is the number one thing that is going to pay you for the rest of your life. That's number one. This is where you are building an asset that can pay you for the rest of your life. Otherwise, you've got a J-O-B and you are trading dollars for hours. Mm. And no one that's ever in front of me that handed over a credit card for a business, I don't care what they say, they have a dream. They have a hope. They have a desire. I'm a dream keeper. So I'm with Shelly. As soon as they come through the door, let's go. Why are you here? How can we change your life? What do you want more of? What do you want less of? And clubs is the way that we get there, baby. Clubs is it. So I am talking about, yeah, position one, position two, the acronyms, whatever. They're not even going to remember position one. and pos I, I don't even talk about the letters. I say, this is easy. We're going to whip through one and two, but this is the destination. This is when it's getting real. And I love to talk about clubs like this. Maybe this will be helpful. I think of it like a franchise. And I think of it like Subway, because sometimes it's hard to imagine we're all on Zoom. So you can't kind of think of bricks and mortar, right? But imagine that you just opened a store, a Juice Plus store, where the fruit and veggie um, store, and you can sell a certain amount per month and then it just gets too much like over 60 70 I've got some team with 100 customers wow but that's not me 25 to 30 customers now that I can do that's some good little earnings mm -hmm. so I've got a shop okay I've got a retail business and I'm a shop owner the thing that takes you from a shop owner to building an empire is you get qualified as quickly as possible you show that you are a successful shop. You are getting a performance bonus from corporate. Like in, our, in Australia, it's Peter Glennie. I say, make Peter pay. Get Peter to get that wallet out. He's going to pay us the performance bonus. It's a jackpot. Every single time that you qualify, it's your own jackpot. So I call it the jackpot business. Okay. Now, where it gets very exciting and where you are unlimited, repeat after me, where you can be unlimited in this business. Who doesn't like Limit. limits? Who doesn't mm -hmm. like the J-O-B? Who doesn't like trading dollars for hours, right? This is the path to the sky's the limit. It's qualifying. When you teach one more person to do exactly what you just did, open a store, take great care of people, find people who want to change their 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 health destiny, who want to change their wealth destiny, and you set up their own qualified store with them and then get them obsessed about doing the same thing, right? As soon as they've done it, get them obsessed. Get them to put blinkers on. They don't need to know anything else about this business or the marketing plan, but qualifying and clubs, clubs, clubs. Once you teach three people, 
to do exactly what you just did and you get those three people obsessed about doing the same, well, now there's nine. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. I'm not going out finding a hundred stores that I'm personally opening, but I'm working with those who are ready to change their life and their financial destiny and their choices. And this is how we do it. Very easy and very, um, yeah, very easy to, to comprehend and uh, opening up a store. Everybody can understand that. I love that when you said it's a jackpot business. I've never heard about that, but I will definitely think about that more. What, what it, it absolutely is, a jackpot business. It, you, need it, uh, you need to have this click moment, which also took a while until you had this click Indeed. moment where you said, Yes. Okay. Now I get it. Right. It's about duplication. It's not about doing that all yourself, but it's helping other people. What you said and Shelly and Mark as well, you do it right away from the beginning. You don't wait too long. You set them on to the right track and say, you want to do it. Let's go for it. Right. And this is exactly what you said. So thank you very much for that wonderful answer. And look at the chat. Everybody is really happy and nobody wants to have a J-O-B. Yeah. You got to have a job if you want to be with me. That is that is old. That's old school. That's eighties. And the next question is for uh, for John. John, um, if if you would be a, a partner, partner plus senior partner on the call today, uh, you're sitting here listening to these uh, wonderful leaders that we have. I mean. Um, what does it mean for those people, right? I mean, uh, thinking about the incentive, if you would be a partner plus senior partner now, uh, today, starting, right? I mean, what, what, what would you do? Hey, uh, yeah, thank you so much for having me on and uh, amazing so far from the guys. Absolutely incredible. So this is gold dust, really. Take some notes on this and uh, get it ingrained into your mind. But I remember when I joined the business, there was no bonuses for anything, okay? You didn't get a bonus. There wasn't an incentive. You got like a cardboard certificate. That was about as good as it got. And maybe uh, a bottle of champagne if Simon was feeling uh, generous. So, uh, you know, it depends, depending what mood he was in. So, number one, the business is so much better than it was when I joined. You're getting bonuses for every single position. Now you're getting this extra incentive for hitting PB. It's just incredible. So you are really in the right place at the right time with the right products and the right opportunity. But what I want to really make you guys aware of is we're here speaking to you as PMDs and all that kind of stuff, but our job is still the same as your job, right? Our, our, our DMO is still the same. We have three key things that we have to do every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, and every single decade, right? It's number one, bring in new customers every single month, right? That's all we have to do. We have to bring in new customers. The second job that we have is we have to bring in new franchise partners every single month. The third job we have to do is teach our new partners how to get new customers and new partners. And that is it three things to remember. Now I'm rubbish at the stats. I'm very, very simple. I've got the memory of, and the attention span of a mosquito. I don't really know the figures. I'm not really interested in it because I know if I just do one, two, and three every single day, then PB clubs, the volume, it all takes care of itself. So you guys that are partners that are partner pluses that are senior partners and going for sales coordinator and that kind of thing. All you have to do is stick to the basics, keep it really, really simple. And you won't even have to worry about the stats. You'll just get a notification on your office saying you are PB. You've done it just by doing the basics. So for me, it's so important that you guys keep it simple. Success loves speed. And our business is about keeping it really, really simple. If you keep it simple, you will get speed. If you get the speed, you will get the success. And then the final bit is just duplicating that. And I remember being at a convention and Bob Burdick said something. And I might be a little bit off with the, the figures here, but he said, clubs are king, right? Imagine this. Every single club that you've got is roundabout worth between 100 and 150 pounds or $150 or 150 euros. Figure it out in your own currency, but it's around about that. So if you're a club one, that means you're earning a residual income from that business okay so like linda said then all you have to do is just go and duplicate it again teach that club 
hard to be another club. And you go out and you bring in more people and help them to become clubs and join the club. And I've got a, you know, I've got a cool story to share with you on, on the next question about why it's even more important to get into the club because then you get to go to the parties, but I'm going to save that one for uh, the last question. But yeah, it's really, really simple, guys. I mean, it has to be simple for somebody like me to do well in this business because I'm not the smartest guy in the room. But what I know is if I look after people, if I help people, if I create a happy customer and then I love on them, I give them value, I look after them, I care for them, they're going to stay on the product forever forever. And that means that you're qualifying your business. So you're filling up your bucket, but there are no holes in the bucket. There's no leaks because you're looking after the people you've got in there. Retention is your pension, residual income. We want to keep people staying on this product month after month, year after year and decade after decade. And if you just keep doing that and then you teach to teach, teach other people to do what you've done. You get yourself to be a qualifying business and then you teach somebody else. Hey, I've joined the club. Now I want to get you into the club. See it like a, see it like a nightclub. Hey, I've got in the nightclub. Remember when it was like you were trying to get your mates into the club and you're always a little <laughs> bit nervous. Did, did such a body get in or not? What do we do? Do we go out and try and get them in? So you got to see yourself. You're, you're talking to your friends. Come on, we're in the club. It's really cool here. I want to get you in the club as well. Let's work together and make it happen. Love it. Retention is your pension. Everybody wants to join the club. I know exactly the feeling when uh, you're standing in front of the bouncer and say, can we get in or can we not get in? I like you. I don't like you. And I don't like you. So you can come in. No, but we're all together. I don't care. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's part of my, uh, my old town. Um, yes, retention is your pension. There's so much stuff in there. Retention is your pension. Clubs are king. I love that as well. And um, what else did I get? Keep it simple, right? I mean, I think all of us, of course, you need to do the, the, the basic stuff and you need to do the, the things that, that John was saying. And I, I think we can all plead for that and, and, and definitely put our hand in, in, in the fire for that. So yes, you need to enroll new partners. You need to uh, get new customers, share the mission. This is what you do. Actually, you share the mission of inspiring healthy living around the world. So, um, so many good stuff in there. And uh, what you said, gold dust, gold nuggets, it's all coming your way. So uh, I hope everybody is really making notes. And what I see here, there's a, there's a lot of comments here that people see a lot of value in, in this. Yeah, I would say power hour, uh, this global power hour uh, with all these uh, amazing leaders that we have across, across the world here coming together. Thank you very much for that, John. And I'm looking forward to that story uh, that you're gonna share later. Um, Shelly, the next question is for you. Um, I mean, we talked about the duplication, we talked about the club, but uh, can you share a little bit of, of your own experience? You know? How do you do that in your team and how do you make them duplicate that, what you are actually showing them? Okay, well, um, okay, first of all, I used to be a third grade school teacher. I say from the 1800s because it was so long ago, okay? But I teach in threes, kind of like John does, okay? So I teach in threes. First, I believe in the product and the mindset of the three gifts, which we just talked about. Um, but we believe that not only you deserve to get paid back on your own orders as a partner, but my mindset, which I then just transferred to my team, was that everyone deserves their family to get paid back on their own orders, okay? So that they offset the cost of the entire family. And when you qualify your business, that should take care of it, right? So that's just a fantastic, easy start. But second, um, in the beginning, I kept hearing my team trying to create all these different things seven years ago. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just stick with the company's incentive programs that they had. And we don't need to re recreate the wheel. I kept saying that to them. And so I actually created a wheel, a, a physical wheel, and it's called the wheel of success. And it's three spokes to this wheel. Of course, I told you from a third grade school teacher, I keep it really <laughs> simple. So the first spoke is to get to partner plus. And uh, how we do that simple with threes, three quads. That's what I teach my team, three quads. Three quads get you to partner plus. Then three partner pluses, gets you to QSC. And now that we're all global with this, this is easy, okay? And then three, once you get to QSC, you're just gonna do exactly what John was talking about. You're just gonna keep adding new people every month. New customers turn to Partner Pluses right off the bat. The company's making it 
so easy, you guys. Like I'm wanting to come through the screen at you because I cannot believe it. It's even in seven years, the difference between seven years ago and today, it's like you sneeze and you get a hundred dollars or whatever you get in your country. I don't know, but it's crazy. They're so generous. So I want you to hear that. And it's not hard. And if it's hard for you, then you need to work with your upline because you're making it too hard. That's the first thing. Okay. Then, um, you're just going to keep doing that over and over again, round and round and round. You don't have to worry about, oh, I need to get to the next level. I need to go here. I need to go there. Just keep doing that same three things, partner plus to QSC, qualify your business over and over and over. Okay. But the real thing that I think that we do on our team, and maybe many of you do this, but we use the Shred 10 program every single month. We've been doing this since the beginning. It was called Transform 30 or something back in the beginning, but it's the same program. And it's not really that it's a, a particular program or diet. It's the fact that it's the, now the quad and the shakes. It's using all of our products into one program every month. And what it does is because we start it on the second Monday of every month, it gives us an opportunity to push really hard at the end of the month for new business, not old customers trying to suck more product out of them, but new people. And so what my team calls it is a shred 10 and a quad 10. And what that means is that the, the capsules we believe are should come out of your medical budget of your home. And the shakes and bars should come out of your grocery budget. Because when you think of in those two different terms, it doesn't seem like it's a big cost factor, right? These we're buying out of our medical budget to keep us healthy, the capsules, and the shakes are coming out of our grocery budget, budget to fill our tummies, right? Okay, so I told you I'm, I'm an old teacher, so I talk small. But what when you're doing the shred, you're thinking of a shred 10, that's trio plus shakes. But our trio, we consume them over a four month supply. So we should pay for them in monthly installments. That's your residual income, right? But our shakes are groceries and we pay for them all in, in full on my team because we pay for them in full because it's how you would pay for your groceries, right? Okay, so that what does that do for us? When we're talking about paid volume, you're talking about installments and paid in full amounts. So you're getting, for us, it's 215 PV. I know I don't wanna to get too technical here, but if you're short 950 points to qualify your business, then you simply divide that by the 215 and it tells you you need five new shred tens. And when you're thinking in terms of that, it's so much easier for our team to think of, well, we need to just add more good. We need to add more people into this. And how many more people can we get on the shred program? Because we know people love to come into community, right? They want to get healthy with a community. And that way you don't feel like you're doing it by yourselves. So, and, and then again, again, if you're doing it with the quad 10, it's the quad with the paid and full shakes. So I think my, my biggest thing that I love to teach is that the four month installments of capsules feed our residual income, but the paid in full shakes are immediate stimulus into your pay line. So anyway, that's what I have to say about that. Oof, that, um, there were some, some gold nuggets coming our way. I love the way you, how you explain uh, the, the budget plan. And uh, that uh, I see that also in the chat. Everybody's like, ah, I get that uh, totally. What was it? The, it was the Wheel of Fortune. No, it was not the Wheel of Fortune. What was it? The Wheel <laughs> the of? Wheel. I, I, I didn't make that note. The, it's the Wheel of, of Success. It's the Wheel of Success. Success. And it's just teaching in threes because people and I told, would tell people when they say, yeah, but how do I get to this, this, and this? I'm like, you don't need to worry about that. You just go back and every person that you got to Partner Plus, because think of it, if you get three quads to Partner Plus and three Partner Pluses to QSC, then when you get to QSC, if your mindset is to go back and help those three Partner Pluses get to QSC, whoops. We're here. I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Anyway, if, if we um, if you go back and help those three partner pluses get to QSC, even if only one of them gets there or two of them that gets there, that feeds into qualifying your business. And then mm -hmm. that helps them keep their wheel going. Now, one thing right. I did want to add, this is kind of a side note, 
but you know that new coveted QSSC position? Well, if you complete the wheel and then you help, again, my threes, three people complete the wheel, you're at QSSC. You've already, you've already scooped up sales coordinator on the way, and now you're at that coveted position where you're gonna start earning bib and, um, and all the other bonuses. So I just get super excited about it. You can tell that we've been doing the same wheel of success for seven years and it just keeps cranking it out and it works. So it's, it, it works for us, okay? It works for us. No, I think a lot of things would work for you guys works for everybody. I mean, you're a PMD Plus Club 100 uh, and, and, and we all, um, actually what, we, what I hear is we all talk about the same thing. We call it different, we do it maybe a little different, but at the end, it's, 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 we do all the same things. I, I love that. I think it's also so important what you said is that everybody starts with all the products, right? The trio, the Omega, the Quad, you call them, uh, the, the shakes. I mean, you take all the products and all the partners that start, they need to stake all the products. So thank you very much for that. Ernesto, I was gonna say one more thing and I'm sure you all do this too, but we expect people, everyone to get on all the products. We expect that. And that's what a, a new team, team member said to me, she said, What's, what's interesting is, and she's been in sales before, she said, you just expect it. And I said, well, why wouldn't you? It's what you, you're consuming. So if you're consuming it, why wouldn't you want these people that you say you truly care about to not be on all the products, right? Absolutely. And this is a That's way it. to pay for it. So, yeah. Anyway. And, and what I've heard as well, I mean, not only from you, but from everywhere, lead by example, right? You take all the products, you do the basics, and then your team will do the basics as well. So this is actually my next question for, for Mark. Uh, Mark, I mean, we have heard about doing the basics and rolling new partners, new customers, uh, events and stuff, but I mean, can you elaborate a little bit how important that is in order to grow your business? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, over the last 30 years, as I've already mentioned, you know, I've actually seen systems and tools come and go and evolve and, you know, my background is 10 years straight from school in uh, British military aviation. That's all I ever knew. So I love systems and tools. But the problem with that is we tend to overanalyze till we paralyze ourselves. And sorry, but us guys are sometimes the worst. And we need to dumb it down. So the basics still stand true today, the absolute basics. And we need to really dumb it down. And, and even now with the, other, the rest of us on the call here, you're going to start to hear a common theme where perhaps we're almost repeating ourselves but at the end of the day you know success leaves clues and uh, if you're hearing the same message in different ways from all of us here that's because it works guys that's because it works and you can cut those corners and not make the same mistakes or, or delay things so i was first taught the basics right in the early days by our mentors who are still around in the business today and we still learn from them today and those absolute basics were you know you retail to sponsor to teach and you do that over and over again, retail, sponsor, teach, retail, sponsor, teach, you know, wash, rinse, repeat, and you just do it over and over again, almost to the point that it gets a little nauseating and boring. But as John says, that's all you got to do is keep doing those things over and over again. And of course, we do that by sharing information about the product, sharing information about the business and promoting events. And if you master the events, then somebody else that's better than you can share the information about the product or the business. So it really is about dumbing it down. Now, if you use that principle of keeping the basics to build a qualifying business, which for most people around the world is about 20, maybe as much as 30 customers making an installment on a monthly basis, depends on your country, depends on the product mix, of course. Well, then that helps you build that building block or maintain that building block of a qualified business. And it does that either by replacing, um, you know, the natural attrition you'll get to some degrees with, with product, or it replaces the customers who perhaps have moved on to become partners with you and then on to get promoted so that they eventually become qualifying businesses in their own rights, which is what you need. So keeping those basics, dumbing it down and doing those simple things, you know, retail sponsor teach, wash, rinse, repeat over and over again are super important. But then it does another magical thing. And you've all heard this before, I'm sure. Success breeds success. And if you do those simple basics consistently and persistently, it makes you feel a little better. It makes you walk a little taller. It's like if you've always got $100 or 100 pounds or 100 euros in your pocket, even if you can't spend it, it makes you feel better, makes you walk taller. So by being a qualified business, um, subsequently does so many things. It pays you better. As I said, you feel better. 
It subsequently, though, really makes you a much better role model for duplication, which after all is the name of the game. So I challenge you, all of you on the call here, which is amazing, imagine, you know, if you can master that duplication, which starts with you, imagine if you have, I don't know, 24 club members qualifiers in your business or 50 or 100, which is why the company has those teams. But just imagine for a moment that you've got, you choose, 100 qualifiers in your team at some point in the future. And imagine the potential of those qualifiers, I'm getting goosebumps now, qualifying for the next 300 months each, the next 25 years, that we did. And think about that, you know, the company's not going anywhere, it's planning and spending, doing all the right things to be around for the next 25 years. So imagine how that looks for you and how exciting that is. Building a club to the size that you choose, you build your building blocks by doing the basics over and over again, with a view that those qualifiers will be there for months and months and years to come. That becomes exciting. I'm getting goosebumps all over again. But it, you've got to realize, as has been mentioned already, it's about keeping it simple, doing the basics over and over again. People will do something, but only if they think that they can. So by keeping it simple, be the light, be the proof that it can be done by being a qualifying business for as long as possible yourself, be that proof and be that example. And if you do that, oh God, I'm get, like I said, I'm getting goosebumps. That gives you freedom, guys, freedom. And I love it. It is exactly what you said, Mark. I mean, we, we, we repeat, and, and, and when you talk to your team, when you talk in the Zoom, when you hear Jeff Roberti, when you talk to all these leaders, it's boiling down to this. It is just getting up and doing the basis every single day. We talk about three steps. I mean, you call it in a different way, but at the end, this is what everybody does. And it doesn't come to you automatically. It's not that I've known in my 27 years apart or a PMD plus and said, you know what? I woke up in the morning and I was a PMD plus. No, it's work. It is, you need to do it. You, you love doing it. It's sharing the mission, yes but it's still, you need to do it. And look at those leaders sitting here and talking about it. And no matter if you're in the East, in the South or in the West, this is what you need to do. And you need to do it first yourself every single month because otherwise you're not authentic. You are telling other people to do something and you're not doing it yourself. And the beautiful thing, which I hear from all of you is it's fun doing the basics. It's good to stay in contact with new customers, enrolling new partners, inviting people to events. Ah, I get goosebumps as well, Mark, really. I mean, this is, this is really great. I was really nervous, but I'm hyped up now. I can do this every month. Let me know in the, in, in the chat here if we should do this every month. Get leaders from all across the, the globe together and share this. My, this is like, I hope a lot of people get a click moment. It doesn't matter if you're in Australia. It doesn't matter in Canada. Those people are all talking about the same thing. Love it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, Linda, <laughs> this question is for you, Linda. Um, where is my question for Linda? Here. Yeah. So join the club incentive, promoting the club incentive, right? How do you integrate it into your DM? Can you talk a little bit about your DMO? How you do, how you do that? Right? I mean, people want, are sitting there with a, with a little note and say, yes, Linda, tell us. Well, you know what, clubs are, are such an integral part of teaching people the path to freedom. If, if they're here in our business and they're showing up to training, I owe them the path to understand that they can have whatever they want, whatever their hearts desire. I didn't get that in corporate. I was limited. You know, I didn't get that in my own business. I was a slave to it. But here, I get to empower people to chase their dreams, go after what they want, get so clear on what it is they want, and clubs is the way that we get there. First, with them. Just get them obsessed. And I think you heard it in my first time. I don't even care if you still don't understand what it is. Just go do it. Because would you agree, things are easy when you, when you really understand why to be a club member. Why to be a club member is how you scale. It's the compounding effect that is always working for you. And by far in the network marketing industry, this is our superpower. Other businesses don't have this. Yeah. Every year that you are building this, every minute and hour you're investing in the skills 
and, and teaching and empowering, you get paid on it for the rest of your life. I love how Mark said it. That was the penny that dropped for me. That one day I would be paid so much more for doing so much less. You know, you at the start, you are underpaid. Get used to it. Bad luck, skill up. While you're here getting underpaid, get obsessed with clubs. Just get obsessed. Number two, you're getting paid as expected, right? In, in the mid range. And then get obsessed with number three, guys. You will get, you will be dramatically overpaid. You'll be overpaid. Who wants to be overpaid for the rest of their life? <laughs> that you're still working your 20 hours. I do a time audit. I think I work 50, but I do 20 hard, right? But this is what I dreamed of. I was out by the pool yesterday. I'm still hustling because well beyond the check, I want everyone to have what I have. Mm. I don't I don't get up worrying about money anymore. And it was the pain of stress of worrying about money that got me here, that got me uncomfortable, that got me excited to do more than I was ever going to do before. So my wish, my hope, my absolute dream for you, and I just want to have a bit of a truth bomb here. It's a decision. A, a qualified business is you saying, I'm in the arena. I'm a professional business. I'm going pro. It's the line in the sand that Juice Plus, you know, the, the originals, when they set up the marketing plan, they said, where's the line where people are amateurs and hobby and, and you know, it's a side thing. It's they're dabbling and they love a few extra hundred a month. And believe me, I was there for five years and I loved it. $300 extra a month changed my life. But when I made a decision that it was go time, that this was my plan A, that's when I understood the marketing plan. That's when I'm like, you know, I'm like glasses on every day. Show me the money, show me the money. So how do I do it? I do a show me the money call, literally with my silly props and my hats and my yeah. yes button. And we make clubs fun. Like it is like you want to be in the nightclub. You want to be part of the crew, but everyone gets to be in the club here. We don't discriminate. All you need to do to be in our club is say yes, make the decision, get obsessed, work closely with your upline. Whoever's the next qualified up, go move in with them and say, show me, teach me, let me. Like, what do I need to do? And you've got to do things that you've never done before to get results you've never had before. So clubs as a leader, well, that's the golden handcuffs. Now, now I got you. Now you're going to be obsessed and we are going to like completely change people's lives together. Clubs is a community builder. You are an influencer. You are changing a community. It's like 25 families. The minute that I heard years ago that it, it, it equates to 25 families who you are impacting every single month, I was like, wow, I can get behind that. I can talk about that. Like I want to be a community leader. I want to be influencing people's, you know, their fridges, their pantries, their sleep. I want to influence that stuff. Their kids focus and concentration, their immunity for God's sake. Like it's unbelievable what we can influence. So I just go on and on and on about clubs, Ernesto. Like we, we build it into extra. I always do like a, um, a leadership day, a boat party, a, I, I go to the team and say, what will just knock your socks off? What will get you excited to get behind the velvet rope? So when we do game plan, there's the, there's the club's recognition. There's the, the club's area. There's, it, it's nice to kind of close the door sometimes. It's mm. nice to be behind the rope. And it shakes out the achievers. And chances are, if you're on this call, you want to be part of that and you want to help others get behind the thing to get obsessed with is once you are qualified, congratulations, you're in the club, you're amazing. Now I want you to be just eat, breathe, sleep, getting as many people behind that velvet rope with you because that is how you're going to change their life. Yeah. I mean, what can I add to that, right? I mean, there's so much value. I keep on hearing those little easy steps. One, two, three. You do one, two, three. You do one, two, three. You do one, two, three. It's always that. And sharing the mission is what it all boils down to, right? 
Everybody wants to be part of a community. Nobody wants, oh, do you want another job? No, but do you want to be with something bigger, something where you can influence people's lives, families' lives? Yes. Okay, then I'm with it and get them obsessed. I love that, Linda. You want to say something more, I see. It's just one other thing because I have this plastered everywhere. This is the ultimate pay it forward business. Yeah. This, we use the universal law of sowing and reaping, giving and receiving. And as, as Zig Ziglar says, help as many other people get what they want. You automatically get what you want. And that comes to life in our unbelievably generous marketing plan and clubs is how it's measured. So if you are growing clubs, you are empowering and changing lives. Empowering is a wonderful thing to do, absolutely. And sharing is caring and I'm, I'm totally with you. And I, I, I hear it from everybody. And I hear it when I talk to our community, our Big Juice Plus community, we all do it with love. We don't want to be salespeople like Sally said, right? I mean, you want to share it. You want to do it with love. You want to have the goosebumps. Like Mark says, when you talk about it, it's like, yes, I'm doing something good. I always say, we're not selling alcohol. We're not selling cigarettes. We are doing good. And this is a beautiful thing. So the last question, John, Renata, is for you. Sure, Renata, yes, Shelley. I just had to interrupt you because this theme, just before John comes on, I think we ought to do in the club, right? <laughs> <laughs> In the club. I can't, we've got, it's gotta be our theme song here, right? In the club. I will look it up. I, and for the next one, we'll have that in the club. I'd have to look for a clean version, right? You know that, what? I play uh, it at the start of every training. Uh, okay. Everyone go Good get way. your glasses, get your yes button and, and get the, the club song on. <laughs> I, will, I will go with that to bed tonight uh, with, uh, with the club song. John. The question for you is, of course, at qualifying for club events, right? You talked about events, the Club 39 events, Club 24 events. Uh, uh, how important is that and, and, and for the vision of the people and the vision in your team? I mean, I, I joined this business to have more fun and travel. And, uh, you know, everyone tonight, I think, has put that across in in the best way we can use in Zoom. I mean, I'm craving an event, like an actual physical event. I wish I could dive into this camera now and like hug everybody and break open the champagne and all that kind of stuff because I got involved in this business to have more fun to travel to make friends around the world and that's what it's allowed me to do so it gets me a little bit emotional when we start talking about events and just flashbacks of different memories from all over the world but um the funniest thing for me was um I got to senior partner and my upline said there's a convention in Venice, do you want to come? And I said, yeah, no problem. This is why I joined. I want to go to Venice. Let's go and see the bigger picture. Uh, this was in 2009. So as I said before, there was no bonuses or any of that kind of thing. Anyway, I told you that I didn't really know what I was doing, but my upline didn't really know what he was doing. So he said to me, the great thing is there's a club one party on the Friday night, it's going to be a gala dinner. It's going to be amazing. He said, we're both going, we're both club ones. I was thinking, yes, perfect. So you know what it's like. You lug the tuxedo or the ball gown or whatever to the, to the airport. You stuff it into the case. You're taking all this stuff and forget the cufflinks all the time. Anyway, I get dressed up. I'm feeling like James Bond. And I walk down the stairs with meet my upline. I say, right, let's have a couple of beers before we go into this party. Trying to get in the club. Could hear 50 Cent playing. <laughs> and uh, I get to the door and there's like this. The, 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 it looks incredible. Everyone's really dressed up. And uh, she said, OK, we're just checking. Uh, your name's not on the list. And I was like, no, 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 I'm a club. I'm, I'm a club. I'm, I'm in. I'm qualified. She says, yeah, this is club one party. I says, well, he's just told me that I've done it. And we both stood there like, that's why we got the nickname Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> uh, we, we have literally stood there like Dumb and Dumber trying to get into this party. They wouldn't let us in. And uh, they looked down the list and she said, okay, your upline is the club one. He's qualified so he can go in, but you're his club. So you can't get in. I was like, oh no, I don't believe it. So the cool thing is, you know, when, and, and the guys touched on it a lot, this is about building friendships and, and building long and lasting relationships. Rob, my upline said, well, if he's not getting in, 
I'm not getting in. And uh, we both went and <laughs> we both went and had a romantic dinner for two somewhere in Venice uh, in our tuxedos. And uh, do you know what? It was really good, actually. I think sometimes not getting into something or not qualifying for something will really, really make you drive for more, drive and strive for greatness. And I was like, right, the next time there is an event based around clubs, I'm going to be there. Uh, so, you know, you get to work, like I said, and like the guys have said, keep it simple, new customers, new team members, teach the teach and just rinse and repeat. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Some will, some won't. So what next? Keep moving on. And then guess what happens? You build a growing business, you build clubs. And my biggest achievement really, and my most memorable thing was hitting national marketing director, Club 39, getting flown out to Los Angeles, Long Beach Convention. And uh, that's where mm. I got to meet Mark for the very first time. And, you know, I met some absolute top players in the business, like people that have been with the company 30 years. And, you know, I didn't know this was all new for me. I was like, is this going to be a flash in the pan? And is it going to be like hero to today, loser tomorrow? And then I met people that have been with the company 30 years and they're saying, oh, we a little bit like Linda just said there, like I work from the pool every day and we brought a holiday home up in the mountains and, you know, we're about to uh, arrange a sailing trip around the world. And I'm like, whoa, this is nuts. So not only is it a great achievement for you and it's a great achievement for you to show other people to do it, but actually you elevate your peer group by getting into these events you get to surround yourself with the eagles of the business, the people that are going to teach you and inspire you. And I remember Mark's story about uh, his boat is called The Office. I mean, what a cool story. Like, it's cool enough having your own boat, but then nicknaming it The Office, right? So it was like, <laughs> and we, we become really good friends and the same, same with Linda. And, you know, I've been over to Australia and just hung out with the guys and different leaders. And we're not in the same team, but... We're just great friends and, you know, the money's great. The, the product is incredible. The business opportunity is incredible. But the best thing about it for me is the friends you get to collect around the world. But you need money and you need time to be able to do that. And we provide all those things with this amazing company. So, guys, get yourself to a qualifying business. Get yourself to Club One, just in case they do a Club One party. You don't want to be me getting turned away. And then grow your business and teach to teach because you can all achieve this amazing growth, this amazing club business. And not only you're in the club, you get to help hundreds and hundreds of people do the same thing. And let's face it, we make a commitment. As soon as we sign somebody up, we've sold them the dream. So now you've got to teach them how to get the dream, right? You can't just sell them the dream and then leave them like you've brought them into this opportunity. They want the lifestyle or a similar lifestyle to what you've been able to create. So your job is to go and show them how to do it. You can't do it for them, but you can say, this is the roadmap and I'm going to walk it with you until you can walk it on your own. And then your job is to teach someone else how to walk it with, with after you as well. Right. And you're going to walk it with them and that's how it grows. So I would love to know guys, follow me on Instagram, inbox me, what club you are going for next. And then when you've done it, just send me a green tick, done, right? I think it'd be really cool to keep these calls going every single month or every single week, whatever you can do, Ernesto. And let's just keep loading in more and more and more clubs. Let's just grow, help people grow the business, whether they're in my team, your team, it doesn't matter. Success for everybody in this company means that we create a happy, healthier world. And let's face it, we need that right now. Come on. <laughs> so there you go. That's it. And get yourself in the club. And next next time, we definitely need 50 Cent playing full blast. I will definitely work on that, uh, John. And thank you very much for those uh, closing words. Um, I, I mean, for everybody that is here listening, those the people that have been talking now, they were, they, are, they were not always there where they are right now, right? You can be the next. Club 100 PMD talking about this, looking back at the business that you built 10 years ago, as, and, and John said it 30 years ago, we are here to stay. I mean, this is like a beautiful thing that I can really be so proud about. It's like a, if you talk about our corporate leadership, this is what we are doing. We are planning for the next five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years, right? 
this is the thing that we've been here 50, for 50 years already. I think that's so important uh, that you can be this next leader. One people, people ask me, you know, what is so special about the Juice Plus company? The personal development is, this, is the beautiful thing in this company. Seeing people develop, seeing people that were not able to speak in front of two people suddenly speaking in front of thousands of people and, and, and their team is just looking at them and saying, wow, what a great inspirational leader this is. So I think that is important. The fun, yes, we have fun. We do the basics. I mean, I talk about we, I mean, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm doing the basics here as well every evening, but doing the basics is so important, but doing fun. Look at those smiling faces, those people that have been with the company for so many years and our PMD Plus or, or and Club 100, they love what they're doing because they know that they're doing good. I love that as well. Magic moments. We talk, we hear about the magic moments that, that, uh, that, that are the events or when people come together, uh, uh, visiting other com uh, countries and, and, and joining friends there. I think that is so important. And the time is now. This is what, what you've been hearing. Actually, for an hour, you have been hearing that okay move your mm, yeah and keep on working do the things that need to be done it's one two three one two three one two three ah, i'm totally fired up i cannot sleep i'm gonna i don't know my wife is gonna say cool down man i, I was like i'm gonna go. <laughs> anyway it was it was an amazing call and please let me know also uh, follow me on instagram send me a message on facebook yes do this more regularly I think there's so much inspiration in there. There's so many gold nuggets, gold dust coming your way. And what John said and what everybody said, we all want this community to grow. The Juice Plus country, as Paolo Tachera is talking about, it's not this country and that country. We are all the Juice Plus country. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Shelley, John, Linda, Mark. It was an amazing evening with you guys. Um, stay healthy, stay safe, and um, do it with love. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks, Ernesto. Bye, everyone.